Hey Rip Archive friends, welcome to this new video. Today I have a yeah a big topic to announce and that will be that we are deleting all items from Rep Archive. And this will be a little bit of a longer video than our last videos and I don't have any text written out. I'm just freestyling this, but it's a very important topic and I want to bring it over as authentic and as real as I can because this will change everything moving forward. So first a question, why are we deleting all items? Um, you might have guessed it, it had to come to this sooner or later and the reason is that we get too many complaints from brands. We've been getting complaints from brands basically the whole time but in June we got more complaints than we did over the last three and a half years. That's how old Rep Archive is now and we usually get maybe one complaint every other month. But now in June I can't even count how many we got. Some of these brands uh, use the same brand protection agencies which means if brand A and B have the same brand protection agency and then they found out about Rep Archive, then they would also send a complaint through brand B. But in the end, that doesn't really matter to me. Um, the problem is that I have to follow these requests. I don't want to get in trouble. And they've been all warnings, which is great. And that's why I'm also not naming any brands because I don't feel like I've been treated unfairly. Um, it's their right and I mean, of course, my reasoning is that I'm not selling anything, but I'm also not a lawyer. I don't want to find out in court how legal everything is. So I'm just following their request whenever they send it without questions, without arguing. And so what it came down to that made me take the step is that I got too many burns that complained that wanted to take their brand off completely. That also wasn't a thing in the past. I think in the first three years we got one brand that didn't like that said, okay, we don't want to have any items on your page. We don't want to have the category brand X. Um, other than that, you know, sometimes it's just items and then I just take down the item and we have 7,000 other items. So no one cares, but since it, came down to be more whole brands that didn't want to be on Rep Archive that really took away from from the core concept because as you might remember for instance we had big lists from uh, big registers that um, yeah that we made a deal with that had their whole list dumped on Rep Archives so for instance we had uh, Waluigi's master list with thousands of items and it was a cool deal but now if three of the brands or four or five or however many aren't on Rep Archive um, there's no reason for you to come to Rep Archive to watch the list anymore in many cases at least I felt like it was taking away from our all items nothing is deleted full transparency uh, policy that we've been doing from the very beginning. So I felt like this was really taking away from Rep Archive and now we got a, um, a list of a certain amount of brands. I will look that up in the background that are on a black list. And that means that these items won't be picked up by the uh, Reddit bots. And yeah, that's 50 brands that don't want to be on Rep Archive anymore. Um, so that's really taking our, away our niche. I mean, yeah, of course you can f go to Rep Archive and look for other brands, but yeah, I mean, that we've always been competing in a way with Reddit for item information and if Rep Archive isn't complete anymore, that's taking away from it. So first thing I got to say is that these items 
will only be deleted from the site and we will be delete everything on saturday so that's the 10th of july so you got one more day to look at it while i prepare everything all the redirects and stuff so use that chance and then we will delete everything from the site but we will still have the service running in the background so we will still get the items from reddit we will still update the prices update the availability and rep archive isn't ending by any means and um please watch the video till the end so you understand everything we will be doing moving forward so yeah the items will the whole service will still be running in the background privately not publicly and then we will build services based on that that are within the legal limits so for instance i can see myself building an api and a reddit bot for instance that when you post a link on reddit tells you how much it costs and if there are any reviews and stuff like that i, I think it would be too much to tell you about all the ideas here that i have i've been collecting ideas for a long time as i said before i i saw this coming for a long time and now the day is here it came sooner than I thought because we've just been overrun but I think it's the right direction to be heading and so we will again focus more on development and bringing you new tools and stuff like that. The other thing we will do is of course as we've been doing for a couple of years now put an even bigger focus on the blog. The blog will grow, we will put out more tutorials, more guides, more info, more news. And I gotta say, I'm very proud of the blog. It's, in my opinion, by far the most well-researched source of information and er everything you find there is well-researched. Um, I mean, of course, there are diamonds on Reddit as well, but overall, when you open Reddit, you can't expect much in terms of uh, yeah research and content quality and i think our blog does that differently and every single article there has has been researched and you know you can trust us and yeah so the blog will definitely be the new focus and so will be new tools new developments as i said i been collecting ideas i've started working on some of that stuff and over the last three and a half years almost four years now of course i've i've been growing a lot also aside from rep archive and all the other connected sites i've been becoming a much better developer and i just hope that you will like all the new stuff we will be putting out then also, I guess it should be mentioned that we will, I will focus on our entertainment, YouTube and TikTok, and that will still be running like it is now, or even more and better. Then something that definitely should be mentioned is that I expect this change, and that's also where I get my hope from, that this will actually turn out good, which... I mean, realistically speaking, of course, it would have been better if we could just kept everything running like that. But my hope is that it will be, it will tremendously speed up the site. You know, Rep Archive's pretty slow, I gotta admit. And the other sites like alitackle.com, for instance, that run on the same hardware uh, and have very similar config are much much quicker and Ali Tackle only has 150 items and Rep Archive has about 8000 at least in the database uh, so yeah in the end I'm fairly certain that once we delete all the items Rep Archive will become a lot quicker and yeah I, I look forward to seeing that I actually wanted to test that in July anyways uh, for a couple of days to see how it performs and 
well now <laughs> we got that decision taken away from us anyways i hope you use the last day on rep archive as you know it please um don't think that this is the end of rep archive it certainly isn't most of our services will run as they were if we look at the website statistics and analytics it's clear that items have become a less and less important factor for you guys as well i think it's under 20 percent of uh, new visitors land on a item page now which is crazy many people come to the blog and all the other pages we have so we've been keeping close track of that um, with extra attention and reports and all of that since January so I, I, I've been happy to see that items go down while the whole site have been, has been growing um, because that has given me the confidence to take this step and I want Rap Archive to be legit and don't have any trouble with the law I mean yes I make some money from it from the agents not from from selling anything that definitely I can't stress that enough but yeah as I said I make some money from it but it's still a hobby and I don't want to be um yeah be dragged to court for it I hope everyone understands I hope I still have your support I count on your support and yeah I mean when I say now thanks for three and a half years of of your continuous and great support it sounds like it's the end but it certainly isn't rep archive will still be online just gotta do everything to protect rep archive and m me as a person and i hope you understand let me know what you think about this in the comments if you want to know more about it uh, you can talk to me on discord i think i can disclose more information there but as i said the brands have been very nice to me at least to, until this point and can't say i've been treated unfairly so I, I won't be naming any names and i'm I'm not mad at any of the brands um but yeah it just it, it has gotten too much and I, as I said, I've been preparing for this and now basically been pushed to to take the leap and here it is in, on Saturday, which is tomorrow, I will take down all the items and yeah, I will start preparing everything today. So keep that in mind, use Rep Archive while you can. Stay tuned for more news to come. Um, please visit Rep Archive and then allow the browser notifications on desktop. Um, we will use that for quick and easy to ignore <laughs> notifications if you want it that way. So that's it for me. Thanks for your continued support and thanks for watching. Goodbye.